this episode of Cox Connections. Volunteer Hampton Roads helps area nonprofit organizations make the most of what they offer to our community. Today, we'll learn how they do this and how you can help. Also, the American Red Cross stands ever ready to help when disaster strikes. But did you know that you can help them? We'll tell you how today. And Together We Can Smart Transitions helps young adults at risk of becoming disconnected transition to an independent adult life in the workforce. We'll find out how today. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs and our rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. Over the past 57 years, Volunteer Hampton Roads has evolved from a volunteer clearinghouse into a full service management support organization for the nonprofit sector. Here to tell us how this organization helps our community is Executive Director Kate Meachin and Nonprofit Development Manager Susan Pleasance. Ladies, welcome to the show. Kate, what does Volunteer Hampton Roads provide in the community? Um, well, we provide one of the most obvious things by our name. We provide volunteers. So we are still a clearinghouse. It's what we were founded as in 1957. We continue to be the clearinghouse for volunteers in um, the 757 region. So we serve both sides of the water. Um, if you're looking for an opportunity, we have a website where you can look for the right opportunity for yourself and sign up directly through that website. And on the flip side, we're there to help the nonprofits find those volunteers they need uh, to fulfill their mission. So you have thousands of registered volunteers here in Hampton Roads, right? Correct, we do. We have about 8,000 registered volunteers currently. That is phenomenal. Susan, what are some of your favorite events hosted by Volunteer Hampton Roads? Gosh, Emma, I, I would have to say that probably our Family Volunteer Day, which is held every November, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, and it's just a great event where volunteers, a thousand volunteers come together, and they're all ages, from corporations, from families, and they pack food, approximately 18,000 pounds of food. 18,000 pounds. a lot pounds. of food. That's a lot of food. And so that's distributed to various shelters throughout Hampton Roads, both sides of the water. Um, and it's enough in each box to feed a family of four for a week. That's wonderful. And there certainly is a need for mm -hmm. food for families here in Hampton Roads. Kate, tell us about what the future holds for Volunteer Hampton Roads. Well, with Volunteer Hampton Roads, we've done a lot of um, volunteer connections um, for things such as sorting food at the food bank, um, providing volunteers for some of the local thrift stores, um, helping to clean the bay, things like that. We're also looking at how do we get people with high levels of skill involved in volunteerism, um, what we call skills-based volunteerism, as well as board service. Many of our nonprofits are looking for highly qualified board members to help them out with their mission. Um, it takes a lot of time and talent, and we're looking for people that can help us um, connect to those nonprofits and serve as board members. So right now, a lot of our projects are going towards that. And you have a new program, I understand, called Frontline Families. Tell us about that. Yes, so Frontline Families is a program um, through Points of Light Institute, and it's a AmeriCorps program where we have somebody that is serving in our nonprofit um, specifically to connect people in the military that are current active duty military members that may be transitioning out of the military or already have made that transition out of the military here in our local community with higher level volunteer opportunities. So we're looking to place them in skills-based roles or in board service. We are such a rich community in terms of veteran talent, and so that just sounds like a phenomenal program, uh, connecting with them with the community. It, it absolutely is. We're very excited about opportunities um, through this program, and we're looking for our next cohort to go through the training and to get connected. If they're interested, they can go to our website um, and look for frontline families. 
Susan, you were telling us a little bit earlier about Family Volunteer Day. Are there some other opportunities um, that individuals have uh, through Volunteer Hampton Roads? Absolutely, and as you mentioned earlier, there's some 8,000 uh, currently registered volunteers in the area, and those volunteers can sign up as an individual or they can sign up as a team. And if they just go to our website, they'll be able to connect with opportunities to create an account, to indicate what their areas of interest might be, and a calendar format for opportunities that appeal to them. So whether they're servicing animals or the environment or children and tutoring or reading, to be able to connect no matter how much time you have or don't have. And we need volunteers year round. So it sounds like really no matter what your interest is, there's a nonprofit here in Hampton Roads that you can volunteer to help to serve. Absolutely. And if you don't see it on our website, if you call our offices, we're happy to work with you to find that opportunity. So you were telling me earlier about um, another program for animal lovers that also supports veterans. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, indeed. Um, this is a brand new nonprofit um, to us and it's called Hampton Roads Hounds for Heroes and they are rescuing shelter dogs. They're training them and where they need volunteers is in the socialization process. So volunteers can come in and they can sign up to read to the dog, to brush the dog, to take the dog into public spaces to get that animal accustomed to working. And then that animal, once he or she has completed their training, they will be placed with a uh, veteran who is suffering from PTSD. What a wonderful program, really engaging animal lovers, but certainly for uh, a valuable purpose to help vets in our community. So you mentioned um, the website and your calendar. People can call the office. What is the website address? That would be volunteerhr.org. So volunteer Hampton Roads, but you can use the initials hr.org. Is there anything else that you guys would like to share with us about um, upcoming events or anything our viewers should know about Volunteer Hampton Roads. Sure. Um, we also host the Hampton Roads Corporate Volunteer Council, mm -hmm. and we're always looking for other businesses that would like to join the 55 plus businesses we already have involved in that. And we meet monthly. Um, we talk about best practices in employee volunteerism, and then we work together on projects to benefit the community. Well, I know that Volunteer Hampton Roads is really um, an incredible organization serving nonprofits here and engaging the community in the work that nonprofits do. Thank you both so much for the work that you're doing to help Hampton Roads be the wonderful community that it is. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up, spend an hour to help save a life. Find out how your donating blood helps the American Red Cross save lives. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.